Well, we're starting our day off with no power again. It was on for a little bit. It was. It was on for just a little bit, and, uh, but it kicked off. I think our water table is just so high right now that the left field in the ground is just cannot hold it. It's pretty moving. And we've got pretty hair. So we're doing it at night. We're using our flashlights on our phone and this uh this battery operated lantern. So crazy mornings. She's got some corn shucked and also she's making some butter. Got some rolls that she made. Be ready for supper. You know, for the heck of it, we were trying some fall cucumber. Never have done that. Uh, but you know, our temperature pretty much stays warm up until October, November. Every once in a while, we'll get a little cool snap. But uh, you see, they're really coming up. And uh, I'll show you the, the pumpkin patch a little bit later. It's really coming up. But uh, you know our peas is pretty much played out. They look beautiful, but they're not really making much beans anymore. We're just gonna go ahead and get those up. We'll do a, a, a chop and drop. Once we chop and drop, you see all the grass, it just kills me this year. So I think after we do the chop and drop, we're gonna let it sit for about a few days. We're gonna let the cows in there, let them graze whatever little bit of grass and just drop their great fertilizer down. Then I'm gonna run a, a, a basically a hand tiller through it as soon as we do that, I'm gonna actually cover it with silage tarps. We actually in zone, in our zone, uh, just because we stay warm, we don't have to plant our winter stuff till really late August and early September. So we won't plant lettuce and cabbage and brassicas and all those kind of things until late August. So it's gonna have a good, yeah, you know, roughly a month to sit underneath that silage tarp. So we're excited about that. You see, this is the pack they'll be in next week just because we're gonna put them in that permanent fencing. It really needs another, you know about a week and a half two weeks past that so we're really not supposed to be on it until probably three weeks but like i told you i just i'm scared to put them in permanent fencing i mean excuse me in temporary fencing while we're gone so bad news is we killed a snake today so i'm walking in tall grass and flip-flops which is not smart i never do that but today i just didn't feel like putting boots on so we're gonna get this water dumped get it moved over there to the paddock and kind of finish up. Start to see the fall corn coming up. Very faintly, but give it about a week. We've had some great rain, so I'm hoping it'll come on up. We're not big watermelon folks, but we do have a few that we just kind of cast some seeds out and they're actually starting to put off some watermelon. They're looking pretty nice too. We'll give them a few more, of course, a few more weeks, but we just kind of let them grow wild and they actually started making some watermelon. They're looking good, picking the rest of them. We've already picked probably two five gallon buckets this season. So these on this end are pretty much playing out we're just going and picking them. Some we're picking a little green just because by the time they get to this part of the season, it's like the bugs want them more than we do. So we're going to pick those like and let them just finish out. Uh, look how pretty that is. That's one of my favorite tomatoes. These are Jubilees or Sun Golds. I can't remember what those are. I have to go back to my sheet, but absolutely great tomatoes. Beautiful. I've got about three and a half gallons so far. We're just on the first row, so. We're going to finish up. You see there's a few more on these deader vines. They're starting to die. That side hadn't even started really producing yet. So tomatoes for days. All right, after we got it out, we actually have the harvest. We have some green because we like eating fried green tomatoes. But really, we wanted to pull them. You said this one has uh, some color already on it. 
that's okay. That's what we want because ultimately that'll help go ahead and turn it while it's sitting here and I don't have to worry about bugs. But um, you see this one, these are already turning pretty good. And this is just after sitting a day in the sun. My ultimate, my favorite tomato is these right here. I love the golden, yellow, and orange big tomatoes. My favorite and cherokee purples. But we've got another, um, I think we counted the other day, uh, counted yesterday, it was 90 something. So it's 94, 95. So uh, we got a good bit of tomatoes here. We've already canned tons, or excuse me, we didn't can them. Misty made sauces out of them and actually put them in the freezer. But this is what we got uh, off picking just uh, late this evening. All right, we have the four rows. Let's start with the first one. You see grass is growing between them, which that's that's okay because we're going to get that out. But it's so wet, we can't do it right now. You see right here, all the way down, you see how good they're growing. Pumpkins are coming up really well. And then we have the second row. Pumpkins are coming up all right here sporadically, and then they get real heavy right down here. Third row. They're not... This is really wet, so I don't know if they're going to grow real good through here. There's a few little here, but look at all that growing up back there. And this is actually only after about a week, week and a half, so I'm very pleased. Now, there are some growing in the very back here really well, but this big wet spot is, I didn't even plant. And there's a few little ones coming up. This is our miniature uh, uh, pumpkins, so they're actually starting to come up too. So we're going to go through, and, and actually, we can't disc or teal or plow between these rows yet because it is just so wet from all the rain from the, the little tropical storm but i'm very pleased with how, how good they're coming up so far all right we are finishing up for the day uh it's gotten kind of dark on us so what we're going to do is show you a few other little things this is what's left of our potatoes we've we've we had about three or four hundred of these little fingerling potatoes uh from being the irish red potatoes um and then we had some yukon golds we had some of the adirondack purples which are the coolest thing so we had those, this is what we're, we're kind of finishing up on. There's the red Pontiacs. We had some small versions. They really didn't grow big, but we had a lot of these. So we've been basically cutting them up with the onions. Uh, we have probably 80 or 90 of the potatoes left and probably 60 or 70 of the onion heads left. Some of them are getting ready to make new seed. We're gonna actually plant them for a fall harvest of onions. Around here, we actually did that last year and it did okay. But what we did, we let them crust, with them cure so they're ready to eat. We've been eating them. Uh, actually, and the kids don't like onions, but they do like them in potatoes and, and uh, broccoli and stir fried things like that. So I'm glad this is our first year to really grow good onions. So uh, there they are. We're finishing them up. But what we want to show you is the, the honey. Um, this is two five gallon buckets worth of honey. Um, we have already sold one five ga gallon bucket to, to local uh, folks that like honey. Um, we've sold them either, you know, in, in uh, quarts, pints, or half pints. But this is what we have left, which is 10 more gallons here. And then we have some half gallon jars for three of those, three quarts in here. Um, these three quarts will probably be ours because if you notice, it has a lot of the bubbles in it. All that is is that came to the bottom of that bucket in there that we um, 
are selling out of now. So we have probably about a quart or two left in that bucket. So all in all, we had probably about 17 to 18 gallons, um, and which was awesome for us. We were very uh, satisfied with that. Sorry, I had to turn the light off. So, but um, other than that, we've we've had a, a good surplus of honey. We've been real pleased. Look how pretty this honey is. In the light. Boom. Beautiful honey. Um, honey is probably one of the. If you're trying to make money on the homestead, honey where is where it's at. So, again, you see the tomatoes. Everything's looking good. We're wrapping up for the evening. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this little update on a few little fall chores uh, that we're getting ready for fall or uh, evening chores that we have. And uh, we hope that you have a good day. And what do we always say? Happy homesteading, y'all. Happy homesteading, y'all.